Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 13 in Leipzig, Germany, and I'm at the Intel booth with Jim Jeffers from Intel. Jim, you know, you're the co-authors of a book with uh, James Reinders about programming the Xeon Phi. Uh, what are you doing here this week at the show? Uh, well, I'm here. Here is the book. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, no, I'm, I'm here to, uh, to talk to customers and, and answer questions about Xeon Phi. Uh, it's still a relatively new product, and uh, so there's still lots of questions. We announced um, the full product line uh, lineup of the Xeon Phi coprocessor, as well as uh, our uh, next generation Knight's Landing processor, and so there's lots of questions. I'm here to answer those, and uh, also, you know, give it, we're uh, giving away a few free books uh, in a raffle, and okay. you know, we're trying to get people up to speed on parallel programming and, and the use of Xeon Phi. Well, terrific. No, you know, uh, Intel announced uh, some new flavors of Xeon Phi this week. Uh, from a programming perspective, does it look the same, the, the new generation versus the old? Or? Yeah, you certainly don't have to uh, tremendously change your programs, but you can, as long as your program's parameterized properly, probably the biggest the biggest uh, boon to programming uh, of the product line, lineup we have is the 16 gigabyte memory uh, 7100 7, series. Uh, that should allow uh, a lot more local processing uh, on, on the uh, Xeon Pi coprocessor. And, and uh, so your program wants to take advantage of that, but you certainly, uh, as a good programmer, you'll automatically take advantage of that when you use it. So, but all our, uh, all our lines have slightly different memory sizes and memory speeds, uh, but the same tuning, the same um, optimization you might do for Xeon Phi should work. Okay. Well, I wanted to ask you this, since, you know, when, when you're getting ready to write the book, that if, if I was a guy writing code for Xeon, and I'm used to that, and I'm used to, you know, parallelism there, what did you have to, was there a mindset change, or how did you prepare them to uh, get into this new world of coprocessing? Um, it, it, that's an interesting question because a, a good part of it is, is it's more of the same. Uh, it's very much like programming a Xeon, but of course it's a different architecture. There's many cores, uh, many threads, so we really focused on uh, the threading and vectorization. The, the, the two major differences between a Xeon and Xeon Phi are uh, much wider vector capability, if you know what that is, um, uh, enabling you to process more data in, in, uh, in, in, in a cycle. And then just the many, many more threads. So people are used to a handful of threads in, in a Xeon. And so creating scalable code is really what we wanted to help them do. But uh, really everything uh, we talked about in the book was, uh, was about fundamentally parallel programming because part of what we did to prepare for it is, is unlike you, many people aren't completely prepared for parallel programming on, even on their Xeons. Yeah. And uh, the one thing we've seen over and over again is that um, if you parallelize for either Xeon or Xeon Phi, they both benefit.